morning DC Ranch golfers. It is Saturday, October the 10th and what a great day it is. It's only about 73 degrees here and I don't think we've seen 73 degrees since back in the early spring. So it's a welcome relief to the 160 plus days. We've had 100 degree temperatures or more, uh, but we're certainly glad to have it. What I can tell you is that for those who are headed our way from up north and perhaps maybe even Canada, we want to remind you that we have not been closed one day since this whole pandemic started back in March and we intend to keep it this way and we just want to reiterate some of the guidelines that the club has been following certainly following CDC and the medical experts that we've been tapping into virtually two or three times a day to get some information as to how we can keep you safe your family safe the staff safe and everybody playing golf and we've also talked through the other videos about how active we've been this past seven months where we have played over 6,500 rounds more than we anticipated, and we've gotten everybody out, which has been a terrific thing. But as you can see, we've all got to wear our masks. I'm not wearing it because I'm speaking to you, but I feel like this is attached to my face on a daily basis. So everyone, when they come to the club, they should have a mask, or we have masks. The club has told me there is a zero tolerance, zero, for people who are not compliant with wearing a mask. If you choose not to wear a mask, then essentially you choose not to come to the club, which is unfortunate because we got a lot of good stuff in front of us and let us know how we can help. So we're wearing the mask, we're sanitizing our hands, we're staying six feet apart, we're not congregating in, in groups of, maybe at a big group, it can't be more than 50, and that's why a lot of our programming this coming year has been uh, reduced to the major events, so to speak, and we're excited, but we've got to have your support, which we've had uh, thus far, and we're, we're pleased that we can say this and we're going to stay with the guidelines until they're changed by the authorities. Um, we should also tell you that you know October 23rd is not too far away, two weekends from now, and we will be opening up the golf course and we will have tee times on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I should also remind you that there are no guests of any kind on Friday or Saturday mornings as usual. You are welcome to bring guests starting on Saturday afternoon and Sunday. So I should also mention that as you can see behind me, we have been one week into the overseeding process. And I should also let you know that overseeding really needs to have temperatures in the 80s ideally. And unfortunately, you know, not only our club but the other clubs in the valley who follow the same same schedule. By the time we have our member member events coming up the first or second week in November and can you believe that the masters changed to be opposite us that second week in November um, the only carts off the paths will be for those individuals like the one who sent me this DMV tag that they have in their car and we just can't let you off the paths right now folks I know it's a little bit inconvenient but uh, we want this overseed to provide you the best playing surfaces that we possibly, possibly can. Uh, through the balance of the season, we're going to have most of our starting times from the first tee. Only on really, really isolated occasions are we going to use a first and tenth tee start. And we'll have very few shotguns. And by and large, I can't even tell you when they're going to be. So upcoming events, we've got the ladies' golf orientation. 4 p.m. in the courtyard and it's limited to 45 gals. Afterward, we're going to have a little happy hour and Heidi's going to have a trunk show. So if you want to attend, you're going to have to sign up on four tees sooner than later. 
at Our Lady's Rodeo, November 9 to 11. S39 teams signed up. We're hoping to cap it at 40 teams. If you haven't signed up either as an individual or as a team, um, you need to do so almost immediately. The guys are going to be following with their rodeo at the end of the week, the 12th, 13th, and 14th. It is sold out and we're pleased about this. 80 teams, 160 guys are going to be playing the 12th, 13th, and 14th using the same format that the gals are using, and that is a modified stable for the best ball format. Um, we're still waiting to understand what social activities we will have, if any, but we will have food and beverage throughout the course during all play. Um, we are expecting a very active season, as I said before. We're going to keep in compliance. We've got to keep you all safe in the event that you get tested for a virus. Please don't come near the club um, until you've gotten negative test results. And I can't be more emphatic about this because the golf committee and the board have been emphatic with me to suggest this to you. So we want you to know that that's the most important. And need I leave out our junior programs this summer were the best that we've ever had. We had some wonderful kids come out and play and we expect the same thing through the remainder of the fall. If you've got some kids who want to participate, just let us know in the shop closing this as we always talk about the rumor mill if you've got any questions please email them to me because the rumor mill will kill a club and we're we're going like this with all the projects that we've got we look at long-range planning and we've got some exciting stuff in front of us and a lot of people want to be here at the club at last I spoke to Kyle this morning there are 33 uh, families who are on the waiting list to find a membership available at the country club at DC Ranch and that's something you should all be proud of have a great day. So as you can see behind me, I am on the practice tee on the south end, and you can see that the ryegrass is coming in. Also to my right, and Brady is working the video this week, you can see that we are trying out some new uh, flagpoles for the practice tee. They are bigger, they are wider, they are easier to find your yardages with your range finders. They've got stripes on them and we'll have them up and down both sides of the range, but uh, a lot of other clubs in this area are trying them and using them, and they seem to be better for the players to use, and that's great. And then again, as a reminder, when we are on cart paths, we will have those four by four burgundy stakes, which lets you know where you can enter and where you need to exit. And the fact that we're gonna have short heights of cut throughout, we're saying that if you can get to the shortest cut, which is the fairway, and go straight up the center of the fairway and then out the exit gates. That should give us the best chance for no damage. Have a great day.